Here with Broncos tight end Noah Fant, and, and Noah, we walked over here talking about tight end you, and there's people around the country, executives I talked to, that putting you into that group of top tight ends. Mm -hmm. What did you learn there that can get you into that, you know, George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, Darren Waller group? Because you have the talent and you know that. Yeah. Uh, I think, honestly, I took a little bit from each one of those guys. George helped me a lot in the running game there. Um, just going through film with him, going through the steps he takes, the aiming points he has, things like that. Um, Waller had a really nice presentation on, like, choice routes, which we run here mm -hmm. also. So um, that was really good. And then Kelsey, like we were talking about walking over here, him talking about how we can manipulate the defense to do what we want them to do and changing our routes up, making every route look a little bit different just to kind of confuse them. So, man, I learned so much while I was there, and I got to build relationships with those guys too, which is cool. So I'm excited to play them and excited to catch up with them after the game. So uh, it should be really good. When you line up next to your teammates as part of this offense and you kind of look across, obviously you're, you're focused on the play, but you see Corlin Sutton, Jerry Judy, yourself. You look at the backfield. With your group of skill guys, are you in a position to where you can see a lot of one-on-ones maybe today if, if Judy's going off or Cortland demands that attention? How can that impact your game with the guys that you're lining up next to? Heck yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I felt like that from day one. As soon as we, like, as soon as I came in, we had uh, Emmanuel and Cortland, and now we got Jerry and Cortland. So, I mean, Jerry's been, I mean, he's came back looking like on, on another level. Cortland's yep. coming back off the ACL looking just like he was in his Pro Bowl season. So having those guys on the outside is going to open me up on the inside for sure. So I love having them out there. I, I hope that all of us can get the ball as much as we want and that our offense is able to support all of us in that. And uh, I think it's going to be good, man. I, I, when I look out and see those guys on the outside of me, it makes me feel comfortable. So it's been good. <laughs> I hate to bring it up, but I have to. It's how we ended practice today. Mm -hmm. You guys, I believe, had kind of a two-minute, looked like it started from your own 25. Both quarterbacks drive the football down the field, but then both quarterbacks throw interceptions in the end zone. That's mm -hmm. probably the realest type of football you're getting in practice, right? Mm -hmm. What was that like for the offense? Because obviously you guys see you can move the ball. You have the skill guys, but mistakes can't happen specifically yeah. down there. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a big deflator, right? Because like mm -hmm. you were saying, we drove all the way down there. Once you get down there, you got to punch the ball in. You did all that work to get there. You got to put the, put the ball in and get points. So, or if you don't get points, at least get three points at the end. So we just got to take care of the ball, man, and you know make sure that we don't make those mistakes. Um, both quarterbacks are capable of that, and we'll go back and look at the film and make sure that uh, that doesn't happen again. But you know, like you said, ended in two picks is not not how we want to end practice. So uh, we'll definitely have to get that cleaned up. They play the position a little bit differently. Is it? Um different by who's out there with you in terms of how you operate how the offense operates and getting used to both of these guys is that I don't want to say slowing the progress of the offense down but is mm -hmm. it a little bit of an added challenge until one gets picked you know I don't think it's a challenge I think it's more of I think everybody runs their routes the same everything everything like that um the ball just comes in differently uh Teddy Teddy's ball comes in a lot he has a lot more you know anticipation mm -hmm. um he throws the ball lofts it in there he's really he has really good accuracy Drew has the arm talent to make any throw on the field. So he, sometimes he'll whip that thing in there and it'll come in hot. You know, I mean, that, that's a, like the same thing like like John Elway's always yeah. had a story about that. You have that <laughs> yeah. super strong arm, you can you can get those throws in there. So um, just different just different aspects to it. Um, sometimes, you know, with Drew you gotta look a little faster. Sometimes with Teddy you have to look a little slower. So um, it, it just depends. Um, both of them can do either side of it though. So it's kind of hard to say because, you know, they both have different attributes, but at the same time, they both get the ball delivered where it needs to be. So I, I can't really decide between which one. So. Last one I have for you is you've gone against a lot of different guys in secondaries. Mm -hmm. Patrick Sertan is the new guy here, the high draft pick, and some people say he could be the guy that was brought in here to help Justin and alternate on guys like Travis Kelsey and Darren Waller like we're talking about. Mm -hmm. What is it like going up against the young rookie in terms of a skill set compared to maybe some of the guys in the league because he has unbelievable size, speed, length, yeah. hips move. What, what is it like going Man, against I, Pat? I'm so excited for this kid to get out on the field. I think that he's going to be a huge part in our defense, just like you said, to match up those guys and follow the Travis Kelsey, the Darren Wallers. Two of the best tight ends in our division, so I'm excited for him. I think me going against him, I've given him some decent looks. Um, I think he's a really good cover corner, though. I mean, like he's played, he plays all over our defense. He plays outside, inside. So I mean, I'm excited for him. I think he's a really good player, and uh, it's it's been crazy to see how like mature he is mm -hmm. and how quickly he's picked everything up. He just rolls in there and he just goes. So um, I mean, but that's why he was. The super, a super high draft pick, so uh, it's good for him, and I'm excited for him to play. So cool. It's going to be excited to see you grow again this year. Good luck this season. Appreciate it. Cool. Good.